Let's go ahead and round out the uh, Square Next presentation. Uh, who wants to talk Outriders? They had, a little, they had a little bit of a trailer uh, just kind of breaking down. About that game. <laughs> yeah, they, they had a trailer breaking down, just some of the details kind of breaking out. It's like some of the classes. I missed um, most of that trailer, so I'll let you all handle the beginning for, of the For whatever reason, I constantly for, forget, and maybe this is because like, the name seems generic to me, I constantly forget this is uh, people. This is made by People Can Fly, the same people that okay, made Bulletstorm. They helped on God. Gears Judgment. Like, and I have absolutely fucking so faith in them. Too. Like, the studio's solid. That's why I'm excited for this. Because this I, looks so cool. And yeah, you could say it's a Destiny clone, but also just from what they showed in that trailer, it, 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 it looks like it has their brand of sarcasm in it, which is what excites the hell out uh, of me. Oh yeah, it, it definitely does. I, I started because playing it. so it's- I have not played it because I just kind of figured, okay, since it's coming out on Game Pass, I'm going to wait and just play it when it comes out. Unless... Which I don't know if someone can answer this. Does what you do in the demo yes. transfer? Yes. yes. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Start never mind. It. I was gonna say you need to start playing it because it transfers over. Like I would like to play the trickster class so I can make people's bones explode. That looks like the <laughs> oh, coolest damn that, thing that's ever. The class that I chose on the demo. From that what looks I like the coolest damn thing ever. From what I recall, um, I don't remember who was telling me this, but they had like confirmed that this isn't like a live service game, like in the same vein as Destiny, which I'm just like, oh, oh hell yeah, fuck Destiny. I'm Nexus good. brought it up in the chat, but I know someone else had, I think, had told both of us in the SDGC chat, but I don't remember who it was. Mm-hmm. I liked uh, that, well, because well, because they instantly, in that trailer, they like instantly start talking about post, uh, post-game content. Where they're I like, think- oh, once you beat the game, here's what you have to do afterwards. Not like, oh, we're, we're going to have you download this DLC. No, this is in the game from the get-go. If it's more like border <laughs> of how Borderlands t- uh, tackles it, I'm totally down for that. Um, Sarah, if you I- want, I can download it on my PC. Because I started I played it, I started it on my PlayStation 5 just because I wanted to see it graphically, how it looked. <laughs> but uh, if you want, I'll just literally start the same character again on i was most likely gonna play it on xbox because i'm gonna get it on game pass that's fine i think as long if i'm playing on pc through xbox though through the xbox app should it not all of those games have cross play i would double check on that first there is a cross play there is a cross play setting but it's currently in beta for that game yeah i don't know if it'll be ready at launch then yeah yeah uh I'm excited for this game. I want to make your bones explode. And I say that the most threatening way possible, staring at the camera. I will make your bones ex- explode. I am all f- I'm all for the pyromancer. That's my class, man. That's my class. So, so like if you were told me like way back when like Bulletstorm came out, because I was hella into Bulletstorm. I was on the the high score list for the first level in Bulletstorm for a while. Cause I, I was just I like, need to play I, more Bulletstorm, honestly. I did I into that just, like, recently and loved it in the most like fun way possible so it's like if you had told me that the people who had made bulletstar who made this hilarious like raunchy gory as fuck action game hilarious was making a destiny style that was sarcastic as bulletstorm was that's like hey we're gonna give it we're gonna give you everything from the get get go there's gonna be this is not like a paid service game you're gonna have your end game content after after you beat it you're gonna have all these other side side stuff I would be fucking, I would be down, and I'm still down now. Like, also fucking coming on Game Pass? Like, fuck yeah. That's $70 well, see, that's most, I don't need to spend. That's the most interesting thing about this whole thing to me, is that, like, when I first played the demo on PS4, I had a lot of mixed feelings, because my thought process was like, okay, so the game starts, I know this is this group that made Bulletstorm. I don't feel, like, I the sarcasm, the, like, the, the, the self-aware <laughs> humor. I feel more like there's this straightforward narrative going on that's very Mass Effect-y, but also, like, oddly enough, like, Alien Covenant. Um, the Ooh. whole, like, we gotta, we gotta go down. I know. So you got excited, and I'm just like, oh, God. Um, <laughs> but, Does it turn like, out Michael Fassbender was behind everything the whole time? Yes. No. <laughs> no. Uh. Um, but no, so, like, it, it, it's a very standard kind of start of, like, oh, we gotta colonize this planet, and we had readings, but, oh, the, there's one of the readings the uh, uh, probes is missing and we got to find it and then some stuff happens and then like everything goes to hell and you get frozen i'm just summing up like the prologue for people so it's not really spoilers yeah. um but like once you get 
out of the prologue and into the main game, it still didn't feel like it, it was self-aware, but it definitely felt like it was like, okay, now we can actually have fun. And I was definitely like when I when like you were driving through the de- the murder canyon and seeing all the bodies and everything. The murder and canyon. The, you mean like, the World War One canyon? <laughs> yes. Basically, I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely Looking Glass Studios. I mean, not Looking yeah. Glass. Um, people can fly game. This is definitely yeah. people can fly game. And and until that point, I was like playing it and shooting in the prologue and going like, oh my god, it's like so exaggerated. Like their heads are exploding and everything else. Like in every other <laughs> fucking people can fly game. People can fly game. Yeah, people just like, explode when you shoot them. What was that? When you shot but, people's heads in bullets or numbers, like two times the points flew out. And you're like, thing, oh, yeah. but the one thing that still had me like, I don't know, just this seems so confused was the whole thing that I was convinced this was a live service game because it just, it played like a live service game. It's a looter shooter. It um, had all the makings of being a live service game. I was expecting it to say like, hey, buy these packs and you'll either use them when the game comes out. And then I go in the SDGC Discord and someone tells me like, yeah, no, it's actually not a live service game. And I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, no, that's the one thing that people can fly. I've been like openly committed to con- and over like saying over and over again is this is not a live service game. This is a game you pay, you pay, you pay the money for, you get content done. No loot box. No, I don't know if uh, no loot boxes, but I just know like no, none of the, none of the weird things attached to it being a service product. Well, they have a tier, which is great that they have a tier system that you unlock you unlock more harder and harder difficulties if you want yeah. better loot. So that's it's like a Diablo system it. almost. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like a Diablo system, which is so cool. I was like, I looked at that and I was like, okay, so they start you out in story mode, obviously for the prologue, and then you unlock easy mode, and then that you go up from there. Yeah, yeah. which I think is the right way to handle that because oh, it, yeah. even if they're calling it story easy, which have some weird connotations of like I know Sarah's talked about that before, and I've mentioned it. Jose's mentioned it. We've all mentioned it, but like um something i find it when you start on when you say start with story and then easy and you show it you're selling you're telling people that's the intended difficulty now if you want to make it harder go for it but right. they're not doing that weird like the intended difficulty is actually mm-hmm. medium they're literally starting you at no, like, this is the story intended difficulty Mm-hmm. It sort of reminds me on what Destiny did like in Destiny 1 when you beat a story l- level Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Beat the game you like unlock the ability to do past story missions but they were harder you exactly. unlocked it but you didn't have to do it but if you're like hey you want to go back and play these story missions and we're throwing like harder enemies in there like dude go ahead that's your mm-hmm. thing we're here for you and i feel like that because again i've not played the demo i did actually just use my phone to download the demo onto my xbox though <laughs> but um but the whole idea of like oh this is the first story mission and we're going to set you on easy right now but if you want to change it go ahead we're not going to stop you and especially if you're wonders, starting off on oh sorry hmm. no 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 go part of me wonders <laughs> if because you know how the avengers i know uh well this is a good way to segue to that too jose because i know you said you might want to talk about it um it reminds me of how like when you look i i know jim sterling they've mentioned this a lot but i know other people have where avengers feels like a game that you can totally see this was supposed to be like an action game that got turned into a loot style game as a service thing somewhere along the line in its development very absolutely yeah that's that's what it looks like to me this feels almost like the polar opposite of that this feels like maybe it started as something like a like a games as a service money grub and like let's see what we can do out of this and maybe either maybe at some point like I don't know. Maybe they saw what happened with Avengers and since it was too late to hit the brakes on that, they were like, let's hit the brakes on this. Maybe when people can fly got involved, they were like, okay, but we're not doing a game. Not that not that necessarily they would have control the control to say like fuck you, Square Enix. But like, I don't know. It feels almost like it started out as a as a games as a service, and then at some point in development, they were like, No, we're not doing games as a service. We're just doing a regular fucking video game. I, I guess to elaborate, since I think I'm the only one that hasn't played the demo yet, I do have it installed on my PC, just haven't touched it because I'm a fucking madman and for whatever godforsaken fucking reason Wait. I decided to to reinstall World of Warcraft. Thank you, Sarah. Hell yeah! Welcome, Fucking welcome damn it. back to hell. Literally, I saw yeah. you playing that last night after we got off State of Decay. Welcome back yeah. to hell. Literally, that, that's uh, all they story. Really, but really just, quick. I actually have a question. Sorry for those who have played the demo. Is there character customization? Yeah. So uh, I don't. Yeah. Have- it's okay. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like Mass Effect One people. character character customization. Yeah, it's, not, it's very expensive. I can play a female character and give her hair. Yes. 
You can have this. You, Sarah, you and I are going to have the same haircut because it's the same haircut. Hell yeah. Our characters. That's um, okay. To go, you don't to have go, a lot of hair continue. colors, though, which is sad. No. To go back to your uh, point, Blaine, um, what screams like th that this has like kind of like games as a service uh tendency to is it like the mission structure is it the way they give it hands out loot like what what about it feels like it it's the fact that it like i said that it felt like so many different like already existing ideas combined into one like there's a moment where your character kneels on the ground after touching an, a, a quote-unquote alien substance and has flashes of visions and stuff so i'm like okay that's just mass effect there's what? you and your character oh, God, walking around dangerous. on the surface <laughs> And, um, like, there's this black goo on a tree, and someone either touches it or gets near it, and they inhale it, and then they all start, like, freaking out and throwing up, and it's like, that's Alien Covenant, um, literally. Um, you have, like, the attitude of it seems very, like, the gameplay feels very Destiny, the loot aspect, the, but it's a third-person shooter. I was surprised, actually, when I realized this is a third-person shooter. I expect it to be a first-person shooter. Um, the way the characters talk is very serious like very serious so i was just like again this feels like a mass effect or uh i don't know something like that or like a destiny one like before they were learned to actually have fun with it um so like all of these things just kept like, like with the loot and everything else and i where i paused on the thing of like now you're in the thing so you have a few hours to play all this stuff like i just was like this feels just like this feels like the next big games to service because there's all these avenues for them to do games as a service things there's different weapons so you could totally like buy the best weapon or buy like boosters to like i don't know if there's a level up system well no there is a level up system but like um it, it's just weird it's just weird there's like you know you have your abilities that recharge your ults etc um you have your talent trees so it feels very like mmoe in that sense again it, it I'm going in circles here, sorry. The, the the overall point is that all of those things combined just make me go, this has every little different avenue that could be exploited into, like, a games-as-a-service model. So the fact that it's not is just like, what the fuck? Okay. 